Hi, I'm Joe Williamson. Thank you for joining us. Today I'm going to be explaining a setup of equipment we've put together for a particular customer. This one looking at the level of a spindle. Okay, so what our customer's got is a, uh, a shaft which is supported by a bearing actually either side. In this case I've just got the one. There'll be another bearing over here. And the shaft is about four or five metres long. What they need to do is to have an adjustment on the bearing both sides up and down to make sure that the shaft is sitting nice and level and can be adjusted from either side. What they're currently using is a uh, lead screw with a handle on there and a numerical display, mechanical numerical display. What they find is they get a lot of backlash in that system. So as they're changing the numerical display, it may actually not have so much relevance as to the, the height of the bearing. What they asked us to come up with was uh, a more accurate method of achieving that. So talking to our friends over at uh, Pebble Fuchs, the system that uh, we've arrived at is using this device here, which is a PMI-104. It's a linear positioning sensor. It uses this special target here. It's actually just to say special target. It's basically a lump of metal, but in very specific dimensions. So the idea is the special target will now be mounted directly from the bearing. And as the target moves up and down the sensor, like this, it's non contact, um, we'll get a reading as to the, the true position of where the bearing is. So the finished article that we've put together for this particular customer, we've got the um, two of these sensors, one for either side. We've got an inductive proximity sensor. This one actually says that, yes, you have got the, the shaft actually in the bearings before you start making any adjustments. And if we look at the top meter, you'll see as I move the target up and down, I'll get a differing values to its position. So I put it up the top here, maxes out around 104 millimeters. As a feature on these meters, or something we've enabled within the meters, once I've got that at the position that I want to run, I can zero the meter there, just pressing that up button, and now it's going to give me a negative and positive reading as I move up and down the scale. Second meter works in exactly the same way, and we can also, if we want to, zero that one. 